Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and yesterday I uploaded a video in which I explained how to calculate standard deviation from the mean and how to calculate mean of the population. And today I'm going to explain how we are going to use this data in order to solve statistical problems. What is the empirical rule? Empirical rule applies to a normal bell-shaped curve that is symmetrical about the mean. This rule states that within one standard deviation of the mean, both left side and right side, there are about 68% of the data with two standard deviations of the mean, both left side and right side, there are about 95% of the data, and with the three standard deviations of the mean, both left and right side, there are about 99.7% of the statistical data. Some might tell you 68.3 or 68 or 95% or 95.4, but this is just approximation and empirical actually means that this rule uh, we figure it out from observations. If you don't know how to calculate mean of the population and standard deviation from the mean, I highly recommend you to watch my video in which I explain how to do it and I will post a link to that video. And today we are going to solve a problem and here is going to be a problem. IQ scores have a bell-shaped distribution with mean of 100 and the standard deviation of 15. What percentage of IQ scores are between 70 and 100? This picture, which is almost a copy of this one, would help me to explain uh, how to solve this problem. So basically, we are told that mean of the population is 100. That means that mean is going to be here. You see, it is 100. In the problem, we also told that standard deviation is 15. So we plot 15 to the right and to the left. And this is going to be one standard deviation from the mean of the population. The question is what percentage of IQ scores are between 70 and 100? One standard deviation from the mean is not enough to answer this question. So we have to take another standard deviation from the mean, 15 to the left and 15 to the right. So now we have two standard deviations from the mean and we have a score between 70 and 130. And from this graph on the left, we know that if we take two standard deviation from the mean, we should find 95.4% of the data, statistical data. Hence the answer to this question that percentage of the people with IQ scores between 70 and 130 is going to be 95.4%. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.